In 1911, Maud Lenora Menton was one of the first Canadian women to receive a medical degree. That was um, at a time before women had the right to vote. Um, that was before they were actually considered persons um, in Canadian law. Um, so again, that, that accomplishment is, is really unusual and quite an achievement. Two years later, in tandem with Dr. Leonor Michaelis, Dr. Menton's concept would forever change the study of biological reactions and help shape the field of biochemistry. The Michaelis-Menton equation gave scientists a way to mathematically analyze their observations and descriptions of biological reactions. That really was a turning point in um, enzyme studies. It marked the beginning of a field that's now known as biochemistry. That's the first thing you learn. That's kind of the first thing that you do um, in, your, in your lab courses is um, go through the experimentation that uh, derives the Michaelis-Menten constant. Dr. Menton would then go on to co-devise what is now the standard method of isolating and describing protein behavior. This is a standard way nowadays of separating out proteins. It's called electrophoresis. Uh, but she was the first one to apply that. An avid researcher with a keen mind, Dr. Menton further distinguished her career with more important co-discoveries relating to blood sugar, hemoglobin, and kidney functions. She always seemed to have the right knack of picking um, the right place to be at the right time. Um, and I think that, again, is because of her own determination and her own um, instincts um, in knowing what was interesting, um, what was the most stimulating um, environment to be in uh, for medical research. She was frequently consulted uh, uh, for uh, medical problems, diagnostic problems, <clears throat> in a wide range of areas such as hematology, uh, kidney disease, uh, sensitivity to drug therapies. Uh, so she was uh, her mind and consult was uh, in great demand. In 1916, Dr. Menton joined the School of Medicine at the University of Pittsburgh and remained as a full professor in pathology until her retirement in 1950. She consistently published research results and was an inspiration to medical students and fellow colleagues, untiring in her efforts on behalf of sick children. She just had great patience. She had great patience and great compassion for any kind of uh, any kind of disability or illness. And of course, she was she had a real a real touch for children. She was a very personable person. Uh, the students loved her. She had vision, enthusiasm, and she was very precise in her knowledge of the scientific literature. And uh, she was always approachable as students could come and see her. In 1960, at the age of 81, Dr. Menton died in Leamington, Ontario. A true pioneer in medicine, Maud Menton left a tremendous legacy for all Canadians. I think it's wonderful now that uh, she is going into the Hall of Fame, um, and she will be known to the next generation of young women who are being trained in biochemistry, and, and to young men as well, um, because she's, she's a role model for all of us. Was indeed a wonderful lady yeah, in just every way one could ask for. So I'm very grateful to have had that privilege of knowing her. 